Ladies first, we got girls in aviation day. Debbie? Ms. Opal's going to come down and do this proclamation. If you're here for girls in aviation, come on down. Hope it's a smooth landing. Well, is it true what they say? It's really not taking off. That's the issue. It's landing that we have to worry about. So today uh, we have a proclamation for girls in Aviation Day. The United States is recognized as the global leader in aerospace safety, efficiency, and innovation, and is dependent upon a skilled workforce to maintain this exemplary level of quality. And whereas women have been involved in aviation since its earliest days, from Harriet Quimby, who in 1911 became the first woman to earn a pilot certificate and cross the English Channel, to Helen Ritchie, who became the first woman pilot for a U.S. commercial airline in 1934 to astronaut Dr. Sally Ride, who in 1983 was the first American woman in space. And whereas it is agreed that the path to increasing female participation in these industries is through a collaborative effort by government, industry, and dedicated organizations, local leaders recognize the importance of the aerospace industry to the economic prosperity, national security, and safety, citizen safety of the United States. And whereas on September 23rd, 2017, Girl Scouts from the Coastal Bend will be attending a Girls in Aviation Day at Corpus Christi International Airport, being held at the Del Mar Hangar, which is home to an aviation maintenance program that is training men and women to be top-notch aviation maintenance technician. So, therefore, pursuant to the powers in me vested in the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim September 23rd, Girls in Aviation Day in Corpus Christi encourage all the citizens, businesses, public and private agencies, media and educational institutions to support the efforts to entice girls into aviation and aerospace industry. And I'll present this to which one of you is, is the spokesperson. There you go. And tell us a little bit about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I'll start with um, this, is, this is a great opportunity. I grew up with my grandmother. She was... Uh, got her pilot's license at the age of 55 and so I was inspired as a young girl and I hope that through this day we'll be able to inspire young girls to uh, pursue a career in um, aviation. So uh, next to me we have uh, George Martin, one of our um, aviation instructors. Melanie Holland, she's uh, the Girl Scouts coordinator. Laura Wright, our um, aviation the department chair for our program. Jane Haas uh, from Halo Flight, Frank, Fred, <laughs> he, <laughs> airport manager, and uh, Chief Highland the, um, for the public safety at the airport. And in the back we have uh, uh, another one of our aviation instructors, <laughs> Mr. Joe Dudek. <laughs> Ms. Warlow. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm going to ask Ms. Warlow to come down. This is uh, Natural Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. And if you're here on behalf of that, please come on down. Okay, 
So each year, thousands of children face the battle against cancer with inspiring hope and incredible bravery. Although cancer remains the leading cause of disease-related death for children, many childhood cancers are considered curable. And funding for much needed research is crucial to saving lives and keeping children healthy in the future. Brooks Blossoming Hope for, Child for Childhood Cancer Foundation, along with the Ready or Not Foundation and other pediatric cancer organizations, strive to promote childhood cancer awareness. They create a level of empowerment within communities to bring forth changes for the future of children fighting, surviving, and those yet to be diagnosed with pediatric cancers. Each September, we come together to remember all children whose lives were cut short by cancer. Recognize loved ones who know the pain it causes and support every child battling cancer every single day. We join with loved ones and community advocates along with researchers and healthcare providers to build a tomorrow where all children are able to pursue their full measure of happiness without the burden of cancer. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested to me as the mayor of the Cor city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim September 2017 National Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month in Corpus Christi and encourage all of our citizens in the Coastal Bend to join me in our commitment to fighting childhood cancer and show the families who have been affected by this disease that their struggle matters to all of us. And we've got a proclamation here and I'll give this to you and then. Thank you, Constance. Um, just wanna say thank you to the city of Corpus Christi for, um, for proclaiming that September is Childhood Cancer or Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I have been personally affected. I know we, we all know Brooke and, and, and things of that nature. My son uh, passed away three and a half years ago from uh, cancer, so um, very special to me. Thank you. Oh, well, I just um, thank you guys very much. I would like to encourage everybody to, when they see a child fighting cancer, to not turn a blind eye. I know it's um, very easy to do that because it's, it's heartbreaking, but when you see a child fighting, look at them and realize that we can all be instrumental in, in helping just by um, raising awareness and sharing a post on Facebook or volunteering your time, donating your funds, whatever it is. Um, we, can, we can all make a difference. And when you see the color gold, maybe look at it a little differently. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we'll stand up here and get a picture. Oh. Okay, that won't be a group picture after this one, so you can relax. All right. Well, this, uh, this resolution comes to us as I think people across the state are uh, uh, responding in a positive way that just to let folks know that uh, hurricanes come and go, but Texas stays forever. And uh, so this is the Texas Strong Month. The state of Texas has long known as a, com a community of people who are proud to call Texas home, whether they have family roots going back to generations or they were born somewhere else and got here as fast as they could. The people of Texas have faced many challenges over the years, including hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, explosions, and fires. The people of Texas have always recovered and rebuilt their communities and their lives by working together and supporting each other in extraordinary ways. On August 25, 2017, Hurricane Harvey, a Category 4 hurricane, made landfall near Rockport, Texas at peak intensity, causing unprecedented and catastrophic flooding and destruction along the Texas coast and flooding as far inland as Austin, Texas, with estimated economic losses ranging up to $160 billion. 
While the world watched news reports and videos of the ongoing destruction and images of shattered homes, schools, and businesses, the people of Texas moved in strength and numbers without hesitation to help their neighbors in need. First responders, volunteers, businesses, and nonprofits worked together to get food, water, clothing, and other necessities to those who were displaced by the storm and rushed to the coast with hundreds of boats and other equipment to rescue those who were still trapped by the high water and widespread damage. The people of Texas are united in their compassion and determination to save and comfort every member of our statewide community and to rebuild our communities, exemplifying the phrase, Texas strong, by their acts of sacrifice, selflessness, and generosity. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers of me vested as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim September 2017 as Texas Strong Month in Corpus Christi and encourage all citizens and business to continue supporting one another to keep Texas strong every day. And uh, that there, there's, uh, I don't think there's any doubt if you've looked around that the spirit of Texas is, is well and alive and we've got people, matter of fact, uh, we established the mayor's fund for Hurricane Harvey. I got a check today in the mail for $1,000 from Willington, Connecticut. So it, people from all over the country, uh, all over the country are helping. We don't, I'm no J.J. Watt, so I don't know if we can generate $13 million, but uh, we're going to do what we can to help the people of Texas, and, and congratulations to all the, the people. Huh? We want a picture? Yes. Elizabeth. Okay. My mother always taught me if the lady tells you to do something, you do it. So do I hold my proclamation here? Okay. I feel all right. I'll hold this is Texas Strong. Oh, I got a bumper sticker I picked up somewhere that says Texas Strong. I need to do that. Yeah, who's got some bumper sticker? You got some huh? Micro oh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got the best. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 All right. Free money, yeah. Okay. And now we have um, Eric Gutschow. Are you here? Come down, please, sir. Claudia Huerta, come down, and uh, Donnie Contreras. Donnie here? Okay, Eric uh, has been drafted into service uh, to serve on the Corpus Christi Downtown Management District, and Claudia on the Museum of Science and History Advisory Board. So we appreciate that. Now to get you sworn in, we'll have say an oath, and then there she is over there. She moves around sometimes. When we're through, get you to sign the documentation here so that uh, we make sure those checks go to the right place. All right, I'm going to say I, and then I'm going to get you to say your name, and then you'll repeat after me as I, I do this. So if you'll please raise your right hand. I, say your name. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the duties of a member of the board to which I have been appointed and upon which I am about to enter and will do the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States and of this state, and of this, state. And of this, city. And of this city, so help me God. God. Well, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, do we, we need to get a picture of people getting sworn in. Yeah, come right up here.